Hey everyone. So I thought I'd do a quick video discussing disassembly tools. These are the tools that we use to do special salvage operations to yield bonus resources that we can't get with any of the other tools. So let's start by talking about the axe. The axe is a basic tool that most people use to break apart items for resources. It may not be the most efficient item for doing everything like grinding rocks and dirt. I mean, you can certainly get a shovel or a pick to do those, but it's, you know, it's something really easy to get and make. Now you see this destroyed workbench. I can uh, start damaging this and I get a little wood and I get some iron and experience, but this isn't the best tool for this because guess what? Workbench gives us special uh, bonus resources when we use the disassembly tools. So let's take a quick look at the disassembly tools. First, we have the wrench. So this is the low end uh, tool that we get. The ratchet, this is the mid-level tool that we will get. And then finally, the impact driver. Now, honestly, from my experience, if you can only find a wrench and you can't, for whatever reasons, can't find a ratchet or, or an impact driver, the wrench, you know, this wrench is perfectly fine. This can carry you all the way through the game with little to no problems. But the idea is that each, each different tool is a little bit better than the one that comes before it in the game. If we start off by taking a look at the stats, we're going to look mostly at block damage and stamina cost. So those are what are important for doing the salvage operations. So you see block damage is about 57. Stamina costs us about 18 per use. Now here's the ratchet. It's a little bit better. Block damage. It takes down the blocks a little bit faster at 71. Stamina cost is 21.8. And then finally we have the impact driver. That's block damage is 87, but stamina cost is a little bit higher. And in terms of what we use for repairs, all three of them will use the same tool, the repair kit. And as you can see here, tip is great for disassembling mechanical devices as well as electronic devices. And you see, for example, cars, air conditioners, and more. So let's take a quick look at these mods that we can put in the disassembly tools. Ergonomic grip mod. It uh, reduces melee stamina usage by 10%, so that's important. We have diamond blade tip mod that will uh, cause the tool to degrade 40% slower, so that's beneficial. We have structural brace mod, which is basically very similar to diamond tip, and it causes tools to lower degradation by 25%. My understanding is you can use either or, but you can't use both of these mods at the same time. And then there's just the burning shaft mod because I like burning stuff. I think it's cool. You could put it in a in a tool or not. It, it's, you know, it's not, it's a really here or there thing. There's also grave digger. That's kind of cool. I mean, all these things will add block damage, but, um, I just picked the very first. I have these first four items in here just for personal preference. So let's go in here. Let's go modify. So ergonomic grip. Actually, let's uh, see if we can get this item selected. Give me a moment. So let's add these mods to our wrench, for example. Take a look at the staffs. So watch it as change. Ergonomic grip. Okay, so melee power attack don't matter it's the block damage and stamina cost so this went up and this went down we have diamond tip blade you put that in there it does a little bit more block damage but nothing else right now it doesn't show any of the additional uh benefits that we get i'll just try to add this you hear that sound yeah it's not going to let me add it because this is this and this one are pretty much the same very close to the same thing can't have those two in the same time and then, you know what? I'm just going to add Grave Digger in there. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter. Any of these will do fine. I don't really see any extra benefit to adding them in there. And then, uh, Burning Shaft. Because we like Burning Shafts, right? 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 We like this? This is good? Yeah. Extra light source, man. When we're working on something. Where we're salvaging different items in the game. 
So next, let's take a look at skills and perks that we can use to improve our salvage operations. So under perception, there's salvage operations. Waste not, want not, salvage items for more resources with wrench, ratchet, impact driver. So we start here, junk collector. Uh, we can craft two qual quality two poor salvage item or tools, deal 10% more damage, harvest 20% faster, and gain 20% more resources with a wrench, ratchet, or impact driver. And this unlocks wrench crafting. So we could just go over here by because uh, we already have it available. We don't have to add any points to perception. So we've got that. Now, if we want to go into scavenger here, which it says um, craft quality three fair salvage items, deal 20% damage, harvest 40% faster, and gain 40% more resources with wrench, ratchet, or impact driver, we're going to need to add perception level two. So we go up to perception. We got like down there and now we have number two so we can unlock that and the rest of these are just the same thing you can pause the video and take a look at uh, the tips here to see what it says in terms of improvements but yeah um, get all the way down to five master scavenger 50 percent more damage harvest 100 percent faster and gain 100 percent more resources with the wrench racket racket ratchet or impact driver and of course that one's going to require perception level seven so let's just go in here let's get ourselves all the way up to seven there and now we can buy everything so we're getting the maximum amount of salvage capabilities with our different disassembling tools so if you remember we got only wood and iron out of this destroyed workbench when we use the axe but now that we have our uh, disassembly tools, we can use this. It's already taken some damage, but we're getting extra resources, bonus resources that we can't get without these tools. And you see we've got forged iron and mechanical parts, which is really nice. And I'm going to go find some other uh, items in the game that we can use the disassembly for. And here's a car. Yep, all I can get out of this is iron, nothing special. But now that we have this, we can get some leather, we're getting lights, we're getting gasoline, we're getting electronic depart parts and mechanical parts and a radiator and spring and oil and just all sorts of different things. Yeah, oil, pipe, spring, polymers, I just call it plastic, radiator, look at it, lead car battery. You don't always get this when you disassemble um, a car with one of these tools, but that's where you would get them. And we can't get these things. Look at this. I got two car batteries. We can't do, we wouldn't be able to do that with any other tool but the wrench and the ratchet and the impact driver. That's what their benefit is. That's why you want to make sure that you get these and use them. And as I said again, they're really useful on disassembling mechanical and electronic devices but you know go try everything see what you can use them for you know there's just so much stuff every block in this game has got something that we can use and you just need the right tool to get the items that you need from it and there you go i hope this video helped explain a little bit more the disassembly tools and how salvaging works in seven days to die for those of you who are new to the game and yeah if you like this video i would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe hit the notification bell get alerts when i come out new videos including uh more of these tutorials and tips and tricks and as always comment man if you have anything to add go ahead anything else you've learned we'd like to hear from you and i'll see you guys in the next video later dudes